This video looks at the first kiteboarding tricks you can learn after you finish lessons, can ride upwind and do a basic transition. For each trick, if you want more information, I'll place a link on screen and below the video. These were all filmed in light wind, so you don't need a lot of kite power or board speed to do them. FYI, the water at this filming location is too shallow to learn in. It's best to practice in at least knee deep water. Let's get started. Your first trick will probably be learning to ride toe side. Your backhand must control the kite, holding the kite around 45 degrees and adjusting bar position to maintain speed. You steer with the backhand because you swing the front arm behind you to start the rotation. You then turn your body to follow. To switch stance you need to apply weight to your board properly. You start as normal with slightly more weight on the back foot and the back leg bent. As you slide around you apply weight to both heels. As you change stance you then apply weight to your new back foot. You bend the new back leg and straighten the front leg. Once you have changed stance, you then lean your chest towards the water and pressure your toes to engage your toe side rail. The next trick is a pop. One part of a good pop is line tension. You ride crosswind with decent speed. You then use that speed to ride upwind sharply. This quickly increases line tension which lifts you. The second part of a good pop is a stomp down on the board. As line tension builds, you kick down hard on the board, especially the back foot. Your leg strength pushes your body up and pushing with the back foot angles the board upwards for a clean takeoff from the water. For the next trick, we simply combine your toe side and pop skills. You edge and stomp on the board as normal. As you launch, however, swing your front arm behind you, turn your head and body to follow. You should launch rotating and land in toe side position. The next easiest trick is a carving transition. It feels good to ride around the turn without stopping. In light wind like this, you steer the kite first. Turn the kite about 180 degrees so it changes direction. Once the kite is turned, lean on your toes to ride downwind. While riding downwind, you may feel the lines go slack in light wind. Keep leaning on your toes to edge crosswind in the new direction. You may prefer to start by switching to toe side stance. That way you can do the carving turn using your heel side rail. For more info, check out the Carving Turns tutorial. A small jump is actually quite a simple trick. Ride in, keeping your normal upwind edge. Steer the kite up to 12, but don't pull in the bar as the kite climbs. When the kite hits 12, pull in the bar to be lifted. Keep the kite close to 12 with the bar in during hang time. This supports your weight and prevents you from dropping. Just before you land, steer the kite forwards. A grab might seem flashy, but it's really not much more complicated than a basic jump. The kite control is exactly the same as a small jump. The only difference is that you must hold the kite at 12 during hang time with only the front hand so that you can grab with the back hand. Focus on keeping the kite near 12 as you grab the tail. It's easy to steer forward by mistake. Your next trick is a jump transition. Steer the kite up to 12. Edge and pop harder than for a normal jump. This will help you lose the speed you had in the original direction. 
Pull in the bar just as the kite is reaching 12, then make sure the kite stays at 12. If the kite drifts past 12, you may need to steer forwards. Just as you land, steer very firmly in the new direction. You have to steer a little firmer to land a jump transition as you need that extra pull to help you change direction. You can also add a grab to a small jump transition. It's simplest to add a nose grab with the original front hand. Then, during hang time, your original backhand must lock the kite at 12. It's around this point you might be ready to try a down loop transition. It might seem scary to loop, but there are ways to reduce the power of it. First, try this in such light winds you can barely ride. Make sure to steer down hard with the front hand for a quick down loop, and keep steering until the kite is climbing again. Finally, you can really soften the loop's power by riding downwind early. See how gentle this down loop is when the kite is already moving downwind. Whereas here the down loop has much more kick because the kiter isn't yet moving downwind. The basic back roll is based on the same kite control as a small jump. The kite goes up to 12 and stays there to support you during rotation. It must not move forward again until you're ready to land. The rotation itself is initiated on takeoff. For a beginner back roll, the rotation comes almost entirely from the board. You ride about 90 degrees upwind as you take off, which gives plenty of rotation. You will only need a tiny jump for a single back roll. If you combine this rotation with a slightly higher jump, you may end up doing a double back roll. It's easy to get disorientated during this larger rotation. Whatever happens, don't steer the kite from 12 until you are confident of landing. You could also add your back roll rotation to a jump transition. Steer to 12, pull in the bar as you carve upwind, avoid steering the kite during hang time, just before you land, steer very firmly in the new direction. I started with back roll tricks as most people find them easier than front rolls. Front rolls use the same kite control, just a tiny jump. But the way you initiate rotation is completely different. You initiate the front roll as the kite reaches 12, to rotate, you lift the front leg sharply just before launching. This leaves the back foot dragging, which trips you forward and creates rotation. As you do this, you can also roll your upper body forwards for more rotation. As always, keep the kite near 12 during hang time. For our final trick, we look at riding blind. This is left to last because it does require a bit more athleticism or flexibility than the previous tricks. You control the kite with the front hand so the back hand can swing behind you to start the rotation. Your head and chest then follow the back arm. Try to face the direction you've ridden from. You also need to turn your hips to get the board around fully. You can slide on your toes as the board moves around. Or you may prefer to pop and quickly move the board around to blind. Good luck on your kiting journey and thanks for watching.